right, so it's Saturday. We are, I think, like two hours from drop off. You don't really notice it. We're back here. But. I think we're down a cylinder. When we're cruising, we were coming up the hill and it, it was like misfire and on number six. So we're definitely down. I think we're down a cylinder when we're cruising. It's definitely not firing at all. A couple hours from home, we're gonna get there. We're gonna swap the lines out and this thing's gonna run good again. Cause right now it's running like ass. All right, so we made it. Here's the uh, Lincoln. We're gonna be dropping this one off. Uh, Mega Motors, unfortunately, their sign says open. You go up to the door and they're not open till 10, so his number's on the door. So I called him, he said he'll be here in 20 minutes. So I'm gonna get this dropped a while and we're gonna get paid. So, hell yeah. Ready to get this thing off of a truck. All right, so I'm getting pretty bad at this whole filming thing, whereas like I should be filming like dropping the car and doing the time lapses and whatnot. Uh, I stopped doing time lapses because enough people complained they didn't like the music. So I'm like, all right, whatever, you know less work I guess but there's the truck sitting up there on the side of the road so we got her dropped this thing has nice AC I wish I knew what tint this was because that's exactly what I want that's perfect it's not too dark in the front but oh well it doesn't look like we're gonna be picking up the other one either going to New Jersey because the guy never got back to us so we'll probably just sit for the weekend at home fix the truck and then then we'll try to find two out of New Jersey going somewhere kind of want to go to Florida but we'll see so here's the truck up here everything's doing great so now we just got to wait on the guy wash your hands and uh, we'll be out of here in case y'all were wondering how sketchy that is should be all right Okay, so my dumbass completely forgot to check the uh, auxiliary tank. And I started climbing a hill and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna turn the drain on. And I didn't realize how little was actually left in it. So all of it's at the bottom corner. So we got a guy, we got five gallons of diesel coming right now. So we're gonna get to the top of the hill and then refill the big tank and then we're good. But it's like just enough, like we're sitting like this, so. We got someone coming down now with uh, five gallons of diesel. We cruising now. I can't wait to get home and fix this issue. There's me thinking, oh yeah, you know, I'm not going to need to fill up. I guess we're going through, I'm not even sure how much fuel, but um, I'm filling up in PA for 367. I'm not going to fill it. I'm just going to put like 50 gallons in and be done with it. Just enough to get me to New Jersey where I'm going to fill up for like, I think it's cheap in New Jersey, but I don't know. Oh, I forgot expensive. how expensive that's going to be. 50 gallons, oof. Not looking forward to that. I'm ready to get home. we got about 15 minutes. This thing sounds like a clapped out Chevy from, oh good God, something the heist. Listen to this. It's, it's got that one cylinder down just misfiring. It's a shame the leak wasn't a little bit higher on the line, because then I could have just clamped it off with some vice grips. Is what it is, not a big deal. I'm ready, we'll be home. We'll be swapping that stuff out. And then I'm gonna give the whole truck and trailer a bath, get some simple green degreaser, and just, yeah, gonna get this thing sprayed. Listen to this thing misfire. So we got our new lines. All right, we just got home actually. So we're gonna get these replaced just so we can finish the video. I was gonna do this tomorrow, but I'm like, eh, let me get a video for you guys. So we'll have this. So here's one side. I'm not sure which is which yet. I do need to figure that out. Um, this one's, I'm gonna assume this one's the back, but I could be wrong. So we shall see. And then, uh, yeah, so he's gonna help us with that. And we also got it a tap and then we'll use a um this 
script right here for the, uh, the shit. Name is gonna be helping for this guy right here. So this is gonna go back here and then this one's gonna get blocked off. That's how we're gonna do that. And then let's uh, get all these lines replaced because I don't think the front ones are all that bad but the back ones are definitely pretty shoddy. So let's get all that replaced. All right, so the person who mentioned the, what is this, M14 by one and a half, you were correct. So I got this tapped right here. So the sensor actually screws in like it's supposed to, which is great. And this bolt apparently will not work. This is a drain plug bolt. I really would have thought that that would have worked, but not a big deal. Again, because we'll just go get an actual bolt for it and uh, there's some Teflon on that. So that'll be sealed and completely off and a backup location for another sensor. We'll probably, maybe we'll throw a second sensor in there for like glow shift or something. But then we're gonna drill this guy out here and tap that as well. All right, so all the lines are done. I do need to finish drilling that out. I apparently only have a half inch drill bit when I needed, I think it's 12.5 and a half inch is 12.7. So that sucks. So I gotta do that, I'm filthy. Here's the old lines. Again, you guys can see why we were pissing fuel so that's replaced was not able to figure out how to get this on there was no way so screw it all the other brackets are on every one of them i got except the one that goes down all six of them so we'll know for next time but I'm not going to start this now because i need to finish the coolant so we're going to put all this stuff away that's going in the bed because I'm going to keep those lines, throw them in the storage unit just in case we ever need a spare. All right, this is about going to do it. You guys can see how much, like, I don't even want to touch it, but I'm going to. That's all fuel. So all the way down, uh, you guys can see on the ground, but there's the new lines. Everything is in. Everything is installed. Look at that. Uh, we got drill bit shards everywhere. Not too worried about it. So this uh i'm gonna end up grounding this a little bit so that i can sit this flush that has teflon on it so it shouldn't leak and then you guys can see there's a fitting right here uh i drilled into that and then we have the oem sensor sitting right here so hopefully that doesn't leak either but we'll know if something's leaking because i'm gonna go through simple green the entire thing and then go from there but on the lines the only thing i didn't put on was the six that go right back here I could not get them things to sit flush for the life of me. I don't even know if it, these lines, it would have worked anyway, but I did get every one of them on where they're supposed to be. So that should save it pretty good. And then, yeah, you guys tell me that doesn't look factory. Look at that sensor right there. Perfect. I just need to get this hole done perfectly. I'll probably just grind a little bit of that off. No big deal. And we're good to go. We'll just clean her up tomorrow. Now, let me show you Ugh. the lines for tomorrow. I let the air out of the bags too. Look how look at the squattage on that. Oh man, we got them leaf packs almost it's pretty low. You guys can see oh, for obvious reasons. It actually snapped. And this was the one I couldn't get on, so. Getting through all this stuff up here, so I don't know what happened to the single, oh, here it is. So, JB Weld does not hold 4,000 PSI of pressure, so not a big deal. Or maybe it did, but it definitely snapped, so. You having fun? You got her working? No, I was just going around the block. Where's she at? She's back there. She's back there. Ah. Getting their exercise. Well, I'm gonna go back around. All right, so probably get this thing cleaned off too. This thing is awful, by the way. Every time I open the door, more water comes out. I don't even know where it comes from. Look, there's ants, there's mud. Like this thing is mold city. Awful. Right, guys, we're gonna finish this video out here. As you guys know, we started off the $2,000 challenge and we started Tuesday, today's Friday. First week, learning flat bedding. 
um, getting it down and everything. Haven't gotten, you know, an insane amount of payout yet, but it's, I mean, it's pretty decent. We're definitely gonna keep going up from here. So I went over all of everything from June 25th as to where uh, money went and where we were and everything. So I went over those expenses. So there was really no expenses uh, for today on the 26th. There is two coming for the 28th. I did just put out $350 for, I believe that was commissions. And then we have a $400 deposit coming in, which would technically put the $2,000 account at $3,193. But a lot of stuff is actually on hold. Yeah, there, there's a bunch of stuff on hold on here that hasn't come out yet. So we will talk about that when it comes through. There's like $981 in uh, pending transactions, but technically the counts at $22,1159. And according to the June 28th, it's at $3,193. 25 so technically technically we are up 211 dollars and 59 cents from tuesday wednesday thursday friday so saturday so we're saturday we're five days in there you go you guys pretty much know all of the expenses and that's pretty much going to do it now the whole point of this is basically say start out uh from scratch this is a new market for me i haven't done flat betting uh before commercially um, I'm used to the power only stuff and um, cars with the tow trucks, but not with actually flat betting with them. So we are definitely learning that. So this is basically going to simulate a new person getting into this business. Somebody who's gonna get in this business and think they're gonna make it rich in the first couple weeks. And that's gonna be that. That's definitely not the case. Uh, I did see a comment on there. Somebody said that it took them about six or seven months before they started getting decent income rolling and actually figuring out the market. So that's basically the goal. I definitely think I'll be able to figure out a little bit quicker because I'm not new to the industry. But again, this simulates somebody that is actually new to the industry. So there's the rundown on it. I'm gonna mention this at the end of every single video for the next, I, I can't even tell you how long, but that's gonna basically be it, so. Now let's get to the outro. So that's pretty much gonna do it. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you in the next one.